Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse. Today we're going to be mainly talking about Superman Lois, we got a couple of topics. So, what I'm going to be doing in the off-season while the shows are off, I am mainly going to be doing theory videos, but also news videos when teasers come out, along with a new video series that I'm going to be launching very soon, so stay tuned for that. I haven't announced anything to do with that yet, but I think it's going to be a cool series that I think you'll be interested in watching and so today is just going to be one of those theory videos and actually some of these topics I have taken from when we were discussing topics on the live stream so please be sure to not miss out on live streams they are either on Thursday or Sunday this coming Thursday should be a live stream so it won't be on Sunday because actually on Sunday I am away and so I won't be able to and I don't know how good my Wi-Fi is going to be but anyway, in the meantime, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've been talking about this since Superman Lois's Season 2 finale, and this topic that we've been talking about is kind of the idea of Superman Lois being on its own, being in this world where there is only one superhero, Superman, right? But they've already established the multiverse with John Henry Irons and him existing, that confirms the multiverse and also in the episode General Lane did infer that he's seen glimpses of the multiverse as well. And so with that in mind, the multiverse does exist, Superman Lois is in the Arrowverse, but it isn't on Earth Prime, it's by itself. Everyone knows that by now, so it's not any big revelation, i just like to recap what we know at the start of the video before getting into the topic. But today's topic is going to be Supergirl centric, but we're not going to be talking about a random Supergirl who is going to be coming to Superman Lois, or even Melissa's Supergirl, I've talked about that previously. But this topic was actually brought up in the live stream and I thought it would make for a pretty interesting video and I think you guys are going to be intrigued about the possibility of this Supergirl that we're going to be talking about potentially being able to come to Superman Lois. So recently, like I said, I talked about like maybe a Power Girl coming and it being a Supergirl that has not yet surfaced but is from Superman Lois's universe, so from Krypton but maybe she was stuck in the Phantom Zone for a much longer time and now she's going to finally come and become Power Girl when she comes to Earth. But today we're going to actually be talking about a different thing. This is a Supergirl that is about to be established. And by that I mean Sasha Calais Supergirl in the DCEU. So with her debut in the Flash film, whenever that eventually releases, it's supposed to be released, I think at the end of this year or at the start of next year, I don't remember the exact date, she is going to be premiering in the Flash film. And what the Flash has already set up, that being the TV show and the DCEU Flash, is that the multiverse has literally no limits. There is endless worlds out there, and especially after Crisis, They've basically reset those worlds, and with Stargirl being out there with Titans and all these different Earths, like Superman Lois is still existing outside of Earth Prime, and the DCU Flash played by Ezra actually coming to the Flash and crossing over in Crisis on Infinite Earths, it basically established that the Arrowverse is canon to the DCU, but they're just on another Earth. And so with that in mind, I feel like we have the right to question who out of all of these other characters could show up. Now, I'm not saying that anyone is going to show up from the DCU anytime soon, but I'm more speculating about the future. So I'm not saying Supergirl is going to come in Season 3 of Superman and Lois, no. I'm saying there is the potential in the future because of the precedent set in Crisis with Ezra showing up, meeting Grant's Flash, with them two crossing over and the DCU and the Arrowverse crossing over, there is evidence to say that yes, Supergirl could cross over. However, I think if she does ever cross over into the Arrowverse, I do think it would be Superman Lois. That's why I'm talking mainly about Superman Lois here, and especially after they revealed that, you know, there's no other heroes, and I guess they could create, you know, like another version of her, maybe played by Sasha, who could show up in Superman and Lois, if the Flash film isn't much of a success especially due to what has been going on recently 
and you guys know there's been a lot of controversy surrounding Ezra and so that's put into question about is The Flash going to be released in the cinema or not and it's had a lot of people including me worried about the future of Supergirl in that film played by Sasha. So she was announced a while ago and people got so excited, everyone was excited for the Flash film but then all this controversy came out and now we've, you know, had this big question of is this film actually going to get released and if it does get released, what is going to happen if it gets bad reviews and people don't like it because Ezra's in it? Is Sasha's Supergirl going to be thrown under the bus? I think the answer to that is they're going to try their very best to not throw Sasha's Supergirl under the bus and try and save her Supergirl's reputation, possibly by making a Supergirl solo film, that's something we've been talking about for a long long time, even before we knew she was going to be appearing in the Flash film, because there was rumours that they were working on a Supergirl film, and I believe as of right now, they're still working on a Supergirl film, and that will come out whenever that comes out. I'm not saying that it's any time soon because I really do feel like it's going to be a while. Like, they have to release the Flash film, they have to actually go into production, they have to make the film, they have to edit the film, they have to release the film. I don't think a Supergirl solo film is going to be coming out any time before like the next five years or so, if I'm being completely honest. And so that's why I'm questioning if she doesn't show up in other projects, she could totally show up on Superman Lois because of the link and also because they kind of need a Supergirl. I feel like it would make fans of the Arrowverse and fans of Supergirl more happy that we're getting some sort of crossover because as of right now what they set up in the Superman Lois season 2 finale is that they're supposed to be quite isolated and that is why they are wanting to go down this path because they want a clean slate, they want to be isolated However, I do feel like at one point they're actually going to slip back to old habits and let a few crossovers actually happen that are different from just like Diggle showing up or something. So what do you guys think of this? Tell me in the comments below. Do you think it's at all possible for Supergirl from the DCEU to show up at any time in Superman Lois? I do feel like it's actually a possibility. Let me know what you think about this. But the next and final topic that I have is something that again was asked many times in the live stream and also previously before. I talked about it briefly but I thought I would bring it up in a video and that is the idea of in Superman Lois Season 3, is Jonathan going to get his powers? Now Jonathan obviously had that whole stint last season with X Kryptonite and him temporarily getting powers. People have been wondering since then. Was that a Kickstarter to a new storyline where Jonathan is going to actually have powers? I think at one point we are going to inevitably get to a point where Jonathan has powers because at the end of the day he is half Kryptonian, he's half alien, he has the DNA inside of him. Yes, it may be less, it may be that he has more DNA from his mum, that's entirely possible in the way that genes work. So. Maybe it's just dormant and it's not going to appear for a long time, but I do feel like at some point they're going to go down that route and actually explore that. Now, I don't know how likely it is that, again, it will be in this next season, but there's always the chance because they were teasing it with the X Kryptonite last season and that totally could be a Kickstarter like a lot of us have been thinking. What do you guys think is the likelihood of that? Let me know in the comments below. But I feel like with Jordan actually going full on Superboy and I'm pretty sure he's going to get a suit this season, that will be another video that we will talk about in regards to Jordan. But for now, let's focus on Jonathan. But with Jordan actually having superpowers and becoming more and more powerful, I feel like there's got to be a story for Jonathan in order for him to keep up and be as interesting as Jordan. Now that could be totally different stories like he had this season, but it was kind of related because Jordan in the end ended up helping him and it was X Kryptonite so he had similar abilities to Jordan and at one point Jordan thought that Jonathan developed powers in the same way that he had previously in season 1. And so yeah, I don't have a solid answer right now as to if Jonathan is going to get powers or not, but you would have to presume. There is always the chance, however, that they stick to their guns with how they introduced Jonathan in the first place. Obviously, he was the child that they were expecting to have powers. 
turns out wasn't him. It's Jordan who has powers. So if they actually stick to their guns with the way that they introduce Jonathan into the series, they could totally keep him powerless throughout the whole run of Superman and Lois, because maybe that's what makes him special compared to his brother and his dad, is that he is more like Lois. He can do other things in different ways in order to be useful to Team Superman and Lois or whatever we're calling them. So there is always the chance that they stick to that in order to make him more of a human bound character while Jordan goes out with Superman and does the superheroing and he is Superboy. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It would really help out if you do that. Also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, we're going to be doing live stream this coming Thursday, so please be sure to stay tuned. It's going to be in the evening in the UK, so try and translate, say, around 9pm UK time to wherever you are in the world in order to stay tuned. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.